Well, good afternoon, my fellow brothers walking this spiritual journey with me to become souls of light and love. And it is a lifelong journey, at least for me at the age of 54. Guys, I want to get back to you guys and let you know what is your mindset on your semen retention journey? What does your mindset have to be to be successful in not fapping and turning back to the dark ways? I know it's difficult because it is for me at least. We are born cursed and human. We're selfish by default. We want to please ourselves. So it's a battle. But where is your mind, guys? I, the reason we're looking at this here, this picture in this verse is because... Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 in the Holy Bible says, Whatever things are true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is any praise, think about these things. So what does that really mean? When I have read it in the past, I just said, oh, it's kind of nice. I didn't really think about it, but look at these two words. Think about. <laughs> so you think with your mind, and in your mind you have thoughts, and those thoughts are the thoughts of your spirit, your soul. So we know God is light and love, and that's what we're striving to be, guys. Souls of light and love. Where there is light, there can be no darkness. The darkness, guys, is the the fapping and the lusting. Lusting over not just flesh, but lusting over power, money, um, and, you know, all of the worldly things that we lust for. Cars, materialism, power over people. Seems to be the two biggest, power and money. So... A soul of light and love, or <clears throat> a soul that is striving to be a soul of light and love. And if you are on this semen retention journey, you are striving to be a soul of light and love. So guys, fill your mind. Here's the point. Fill your mind with good things. Where is your energy going? Where is your thinking at? Let's be aware of what is in our mind. And keep away from the dark, the darkness, guys. You know what that is. I'm with you, straying to dark websites that are going to stimulate you physically and in your mind. See, you, you you feed your mind with that garbage, the darkness. Then you're going to release, and you're going to not be retaining. So, fill your mind with good things, and that includes. The current media, guys, uh, TV and movies, even just a movie, a regular PG movie or a PG-13 movie can fill your mind with darkness. But, so, let's close. Fill your mind with good things, guys. That means uh, reading the good word of God and filling your mind with good things like where... It are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? Who do you want to help? What is your mission? Why are you here? What can you do to benefit others? What can you do to act in kindness and love and not be selfish? So whatever things are true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is any praise, think about these things things. Guys, have a wonderful weekend. It is summer now. Enjoy your summer. We'll talk to you soon.